sushi. I don't know what anything is on here, but it's a lot of different rolls. Got one for what's it, a big one for JF. What's up guys, it's Devious Dasher with the DoorDash for Cash. And it's Saturday today. And in a bit a little bit of a funk. Yesterday was a weird day. Just weird orders and spilled drink, a Starbucks, which I barely even get, which it was sealed in a bag and somehow still leaked and it never tipped over. And I don't know. It's just been yesterday was one of those weird days and today I had to do a bunch of weird stuff too and errands and just uh gotta get going here. It's a little late. Gonna do some driving. I mean I drive seven days a week at this point. I have been for probably a year. At least four hours or so plus. Uh tomorrow, Sunday, I like I said on the last Saturday's video. I always try to do at least 10, 12 hour. That's my best day by far. Always 200 plus. So, and, and I'm scheduled. So tomorrow, definitely gonna maybe try to do a video. We'll see. But let's get started. See what we do today or tonight, kind of. It's super nasty out. Uh, there's some kind of fire somewhere, so. All right, we're gonna try our parallel park technique here. Remember, this is an 08, so I ain't got no backup cameras. I'd love to get one. But... Honestly, I got quite a bit of room, so. All right too bad. Like I said, I had a lot of room, so. Okay, we got a double Thai cuisine. Double here at DoorDash, uh, Deborah R and Mallory. I'll bust the other grubby hub bag out here. Okay, got one in there, one in there, and let me tell you, if you are a newer driver. And you have a lot of Mexican food places or Asian theme sushi type. Make sure you don't stack orders on top of each other. Like the bags, like I could have put that on top. 
I've done that too many times in some of those, if they lean just a little bit, the containers and stuff they use or whatever, or grease or oils and telling you, just put them separate, put them in bags, they're gonna leak. Sometimes you have no choice in the leak, but I'm telling you, you do not want that mess in your car smelling because I've had it many times and learned my lesson. Well, we are at 3350. Been out about a little less than an hour and a half. And sitting about 20 miles. And that's just between three orders. I was hoping for a really good tip on that uh, second Thai cuisine because I've delivered to them before and they used to tip really big, but they cut it back some or. I think the husband tips more. I, I can't remember, but whatever. I mean, it's still decent. A little ways out here, but we're on the good side of town. Gonna head in towards our Red Robin. See if we can pick up something there. I'm not back on DoorDash until 8.30, and it's 8.01. So I've got about 15 minutes to get back over there, and then I can turn back on early. We'll see what we yeah, end up Turn now. red. You can hit dash now. Maybe. Or we can try it again. Please. That's pretty cool. It used to be all orchard, but it's also known as cop heaven because they like to sit back in these and nail people. Okay, I took that 8.50. Safeway for three miles, but two of the miles are getting there. I don't know if it has a great tip on it. Usually the shopping pays will have like a pretty high base pay in my area at least. They're usually six or seven, eight bucks a lot of the times. But every once in a while on these short ones, it might be like a four dollar, five dollar with a couple dollar tip. Either way, eight bucks for a couple miles is not bad at all and I want to get another shop in the books so let's get in Safeway we're already here and get this order done see what else we can get tonight before it gets too late another shop in Deliver oh great yeah water of course it was pretty easy Let's go get limes. Okay, limes, we need four. I don't know what to look for in good lime, so. Oh, don't have to weigh them, nice. Okay, we need Fanta Pineapple, and it's got a couple left. Alright, 
let it run last after we waited for all the tards in the aisle. So we got extra some knots. If you have your club card, please scan it now. Scan up. If you have your club card, please scan it now. Enter your item, quantity, and touch the enter button. Four. Place your item in the bag. Seventy-six. doing safeways which is fine I need like five shops or four more to get the 13 for the week granted if they you know actually give it to me and don't screw me over again even though you know I had enough last week but whatever we'll go pick this up this is nine bucks and it's going like three miles four miles all through the screenshot Not, up nothing here. going on with uber I haven't had one Uber come up or uh, Grubby Hub in over an hour. Now, I did decline while I was doing those other door dashes, probably 10 Ubers and like four or five Grub Hubs. So I don't blame them for not sending me anything because they're all going the other direction. Sometimes I can match up or get close, but all of these, one was going one way and then my orders were going the other. There was no uh, dirty stacks or any kind of stacks being able to be done on these. Okay, what are we getting this time? Peaches, bananas, almond milk, and oat milk. Okay. I deliver to them all the time. Oh, Jesus. I guess I'm wrong. Holy shit. That's literally the first time in like 10 times. Well, I'm still surprised. I, I really just don't. <laughs> I, I don't believe that. I think DoorDash moved the money around. I'm telling you, they have never tipped in like a year. That's just really weird. I mean, it was for sure that house. I've been there a bunch of times, which is fine if DoorDash is gonna give me eight, nine bucks. I mean, I, I do feel like anybody that's getting an order should at least tip like a dollar. I mean, if you can't afford a dollar, then you shouldn't be ordering. At least give me something. It's it's not the amount, and, you know, given the, the person's situation, whatever. It's, you know, trying to make an effort at least. But, I mean, 
two, on the other hand, if, you know, I'm going to get nine bucks for three miles and, you know, four items, it's easy. It's a super easy shop. It's kind of just the more the point for me. But, that old school cherry picker mentality. Like, I'm still shocked. Well, we did get a, uh, <laughs> A grubby hub right before they turn off well it's about 9 15 ish and grub hub turns off in my town at 9 59 why i don't know because the restaurants they do are open past then but for some reason they don't they don't want people working past that time and it's going, uh, it's seven dollars, uh, Red Robin, and it's going in the same parking lot. It's the hotel, um, I don't know from the other video if you've seen it, but there's literally a, a hotel that's there, and not even, it's not even, you don't even have to go on the road. I could literally walk there if I wanted to. And, um, it used to be at Montgomery Wards that I used to go back when I was in middle school. I'm telling you, <clears throat> this smoke is fucking with me bad. My eyes are watering. My nose is all weird. But I'm just kind of weird anyway, so could be that. Red Robin. Elizabeth, a grub hub. Looks like it's probably not ready. What was the name? Elizabeth C. Alright, got that red robin. And I'm going to take you guys on the long journey <laughs> so you can see how far this is. Watch this. Customer met me right there, but they had kids, so I cut it All out. All right, got Crumble, Jumpus Clothes, Mod, Red Robins over there. We got Popeyes, so a bunch of different places. And it's about 9.30, I got three of the apps running, and just waiting to see if something comes through. All right, so uh, check in. We're sitting at about almost three hours on now, and we're looking at 58 bucks. Nothing blown in your mind. I haven't had anything you know, like super fantastic, but tis what to tis. Like I said, the Saturdays I do better during the week, honestly, than than like Friday, Saturday. They're just slow days for me here. I don't know why. But we had a Safeway pets come through, but that Safeway has got tons of bums. I literally was there yesterday, not even five minutes, and got asked for money. Every time I go there, it's super annoying, drives me nuts. And um, the customer where it's going, I've delivered to, he always orders like late at night and he's an asshole. 
he tried to do a no claim on me once, uh, and then he also um, was cussing at me in texts and stuff and just being a dick, so I don't deal with that guy anymore. I wish you could block particular customers, but unfortunately not yet. So we're just uh, gonna chill, wait here. I'd rather make no money than get money from that jerk. All right, after about 30 minutes, shoot, maybe even longer. And as you can see, really nothing, not even remotely worth taking. Grubby hubby for 15.36. And it's about nine miles. Half of that is actually getting to the restaurant. And they close soon. And that grub pub came right in at 10. So right before they close down. Which is nice. I'm going to end up cashing out grub pub anyways. So. We're going. On the way to go get it. They're doing a cruise tonight downtown. So hopefully we can get in there. It's not a giant clusterfuck. What the hell's going on over there? Uh, I hate being down Okay, so going back through there, when I drove through, because they had it closed off one way, they actually shut down the cruise. So a couple of dumb millennials and probably did burnouts or shot at somebody or who the hell knows, something stupid. And uh, they turned it all off. Here's another one. There's literally, I've seen probably 25, 30 cops. And I haven't even drove all over town. It's just been kind of this downtown area. Of course, with the crews, they had all those cars and modified cars and stuff and everybody doing dumb shit. And then uh, I'm still kind of in that area. So I picked up that order. I'm getting the hell out of this side of town and going over to the west side. Probably going to be wrapping up pretty soon. It's 1020. So, yeah, this will be my last order unless something good, really good comes through. This should put me pretty close to 75, but we'll add it up. Oh, joy. The third floor. Alright, well, here's some of my numbers on DoorDash. My acceptance rate. Oh, man, it's taking a hit today. Bad. So I didn't even show you guys most of the junk that came through i'll put a, a few of them up here but it was just non-stop junky doordash I, I probably had about 30 total offers tonight maybe and out of the 30 20 of them i would say maybe about 15 18 20 of them were like no tip or like a dollar maybe they were like under five bucks. And then I took about five or six of them and then the other five that were kind of in the middle. There were a, a couple of those middle ones. They were actually, you know, they were decent ones, but they always came through when I had another order. I swear there's some conspiracy and let, let me know in the comments if you guys have this happen too every time i literally sit for half an hour earlier when we were by the crumble cookies and i took that to sushi order nothing i think one i take that sushi order and i got probably about eight different offers before i got to the sushi place it's so weird it's like they wait until you have an order and then send you another one Yes, I know, you can turn it off, but I like leaving them on to see if I can go um, and have like an add-on or create my own stack, which usually pays off. With the way that they're working things with AR and stuff though now with DoorDash, I don't know. 
A lot is yet to be seen. I feel like most of the time I get taken care of though because I've been driving for, you know, over three years, almost four years now. And I feel like they kind of keep me up there just because of the amount of deliveries and, and I do all the shops and stuff. So they, I don't know, just my theory. We ended up today at 73 bucks for four hours. It's like 18 something an hour. Nothing fantastic. Same kind of what we seen last week. I worked way more hours though that Saturday and only made 130. So it's about a $50 difference, but in a busy time, I mean, that's really only two or three hours. And, and I, I don't know. I'd rather go out and work four, four and a half and make 75, a hundred bucks than go out for six or seven and make 130. Just depends on how busy you are and what you take, I guess. I mean, there, there was opportunities for me to take more. I definitely cherry pick and I got to be a little bit selective in this gas guzzler. And after a couple years too, you know, there's certain orders that I just don't want to do anymore. And you guys can understand that. And I try to tend, you know, when you guys, when you get in a funk, you want to tend to go with the easier stuff and just not uh, trying to push it and, you know, do a pickup and go this way and go that way and really try to push your time limits and things. I, I don't like to do that. Sometimes it just gets a little too much if you're recording too and using the same phones and gets a little crazy. But we're going to call it a night. It's about 1045-ish and I want to get to bed and get up and do a good all day or tomorrow. Start off super early. <clears throat> If you guys have anything for me, let me know down in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. I'm trying to make this work. Everybody, have a good night. Devious Dasher, DoorDash for Cash. I'm out.